students of Reddit. What is your best story about the worst teacher you ever had? I had a second grade teacher who argued with my about how to spell my foreign last name. My chemistry teacher in high school was a total dong. He would tell us if we didn't master chemistry, we should start picking out bridges to live under, and how you'll never get another job outside of chemistry. He would call people out in front of the class that had failed an exam, making several girls cry. The icing on the cake was one day, a larger girl asked him if she could go across campus to grab a notebook or something she left there. He said yeah sure, you could use the exercise. He went on personal leave for the entire year, and never came back. Had an engineering teacher who never graded assignments, pretty much glanced at them, and gave a grade based off how neat it looked, not off creativity. Then every subsequent assignment pretty much got the same grade. My magic number was 88 stroke 100. In my engineering class my final exam had 23 questions. Every kid in the class got a percent by multiples of 5, 95%, 90%, 85%. Which was impossible with 23 questions. Turns out he never graded them and just gave us a grade on how much he liked us. Professor with tenure. Showed up. Talked about baseball and how he's fluent in Chinese for the first 3 weeks of class. But wouldn't give us a syllabus the first month. Verbally abused us for not understanding what he hadn't taught us. Ran pack 2 months of work in the last 2 weeks before the exam. Was surprised how much he had to curve the class up to a B average. Even under tenure he can be fired for that. Tenure just means you can't lose your job unless it's proven that you aren't doing it. When I was in the 12th grade I had an English teacher who was horribly picky with essays. Everything else was fine, but essays were very hard to get good marks on with him. I spent 15 hours writing a simple 3 page essay and finished it a few days before the due date so I could have him check it over. He took it home and said he spent about 15 minutes reading it and only checked off a few grammatical. He said the essay was fantastic, but if I fixed those I would get a very high mark. I did. I failed the essay. The same thing happened for the whole year for every essay so I had to take the course over again in summer school. I had a college professor for physiology that was an arrogant, self-righteous jerk. As finals were coming up, he told us that he wouldn't accept any excuses for being late to the final and that we would fail it if we weren't there at 8am. He even told us that it would be a good idea to put the number of a taxi company in our phones in case any of us had car trouble on the morning of the final. So the day of the final, we are all there early, and he walks in 45 minutes late because his wife took his cell phone and his alarm didn't go off. Teacher in high school tried to tell the class that Achilles was a Trojan soldier. I was like no he was Greek, her no he wasn't, me yes he was, he fights Prince Hector, her oh yeah, right, she sent me to the office after class for making her look bad, I got detention for disrespecting her and arguing, the rest of the Iliad lesson after that was watching Troy, not even reading the story, it happens man, I got corrected a few times by students, mind you they were in high school, what's important is how you handle it. I would simply pull my phone out to google it, and thank the student for correcting me, or thank them for trying to correct me. In the third grade we had to do a project that started with a prompt I had a dream that, and I wrote a two page story about how I fell into the Harry Potter world and went to Hogwarts for the day. She called a parent teacher conference and accused me of plagiarism and said I could go to jail for using the Potter characters. This was in third grade. I remember I used to come home crying after her class sometimes and that was the first time I ever cursed. My mom let me call her a B after a particularly rough day. My third grade teacher was probably the worst teacher I'll ever have. My sister had had her before me so my mom knew how she was. When I was treated meanly too, my mom told me I was allowed to say she was a B, but never to her. I'm glad she understood. The teacher wasn't abusive, she was just mean and bitchy. I don't know if she was the worst, but she did pee me off the most. I had a college professor who never once showed up to class on time. It was a MWF class so only 50 minutes long. She'd regularly show up 30 minutes late, then refuse to dismiss us until her 50 minutes were over. This class was right before lunchtime so no one had another class to get to, but still. So after the first week of this nonsense, some student said something to her right after she arrived late as usual. 
the teacher got so furious and personally offended that she kicked the girl out of class and told her to drop the course, because she wasn't going to teach someone so disrespectful. Um, WTF do you call showing up to your own class 30 minutes late every day because I would call that disrespectful. Ms. Witherspoon. When we had her for 7th grade English, she was quirky, a little overdramatic, but not too outrageous. In 8th grade we watched her have a nervous breakdown. By the time we started 8th grade, we had for for two periods in a row. We didn't have homeroom, but this was pretty much that. Her mood at the beginning of the year was incredibly tense, and as the year progressed, we started getting more combative against her. She had health problems, so you could write some of her behavior off, but not all of it. Midway through the first semester, things started going off the rails. As an introduction to a book about racism, she had us share every racist term we had ever heard and wrote it on the board, then added 10 more. We never read the book. One day she got tired of teaching and assigned quiet reading for the rest of the class, which was about an hour and a half. About a half hour into it, one person coughed, and another laughed quietly. She then shouted, not very loudly because of her health problems. Do you think I'm a freaking idiot? She never explained that. The final assignment she gave us was to read a dozen short stories, followed by a test on those stories. I actually read them all, felt great about the test, and was dumbfounded by the F I'd gotten. The progress report came soon after, and it too showed two Fs. We had her for two periods, she gave two grades. I stole the books the short stories came in from the classroom and took them home to grade the test myself, citing sources and page numbers. On her final day, she wanted us to tell her all of the bad things we'd ever heard about her. She'd been around that school for a couple of decades and was never well liked, so there were a lot of stories. She wept as we told her, but encouraged us to continue. The next day, all of her personal belongings were gone from the classroom, and we never saw her again. There was a substitute for the rest of the year, and she quietly retired during the summer. By the time report cards came out, I had two as in the class, and, in regrading her final test myself, I found that I got 100%. I kept all the books I stole. Edit. Spelling. Second edit. It seems that everyone has a crazy teacher in their pasts. This one was Northern California. I had a math professor from Russia who could barely speak English. He called homework training and if you didn't understand the problem he would just get mad at you. Growing up, my family was pretty low income. My dad was a bus driver, and my mom worked as a social worker for HHS. My dad's work hours were late night and my mom's early morning, so they hardly got to see each other. We also could never go on vacations because of money and schedule problems. Finally one day, after years of saving, we bought tickets to Disney World, my first official vacation. I still remember to this day how this teacher, 3rd grade, yelled at me that she didn't know how I could have a good time with all the homework she was going to give me. Who goes on vacation during the school year she was saying. She wound up giving me multiple assignments, including a daily two-page diary, and daily homework that was way more than what they were even doing in class. My parents were really pee. They wound up having to get the principal involved. In the end, I still had to do my daily diary. However all of the other homework was not assigned. Mrs. Rodriguez, if you still exist, I hope you have feasted on many a bag of dongs. In 1960, I was in 4th grade in a public school. As in many schools during this era we had nuclear attack drills and had to sit under our desks, as if a desk would protect us from a bomb or nuclear fallout. My teacher would make us repeat bible verses and have us repent our sins as part of the drill to my 9 year old self. This was terrifying. Well, I'm 62 now and still have nightmares about this. I hate her to this day. Well, going under the desk is mainly to protect from collapsing rubble and being at floor level under a desk can kind of shield you from broken glass. If the bomb was dropped nearby or on your school obviously it wouldn't mean crap but that desk could save a 4th grader's skull from being crushed by a piece of the ceiling. My very first class in high school was English. My teacher was just batchet crazy, condescending, bitchy, just really unpleasant to be around. Her shining moment was the day that she told us that we weren't allowed to drink water in her class because there are many people in our school who are allergic to water so we have to be considerate of them. I crap you not. 
I had a teacher in high school who had one of those think as yourself and only yourself you special snowflake mentalities, which is fine, to a certain extent, but she took it way overboard. She also taught science, a subject that didn't often support her outlook. For instance, in an effort to get us to think outside the box, she turned the poster of the periodic table upside down. Which was great except that I couldn't read the freaking periodic table. We turn in reflections about our labs. How did mixing these solutions make us feel? Then we'd have to connect the experiment to a current event. She's an English teacher now and much happier. This sounds like a story from Wayside School. I had a biology professor who was a former marine. She barely spoke any English and just seemed crazy. She flipped out on the whole class because she was angry she was getting emails at midnight when she was sleeping. It was an introduction course and she taught it like we were medical students. The class average on the midterm was 32%. I dropped it after that. My graphic design instructor would be dead honest about how she felt about our work, but would also never tell you how to improve. If your work didn't meet her expectations, she would literally write sucks. Awful. That's terrible. Terrible choice of color on our projects. Shortly after, 90% of classmates would stop showing up to her class. Worst part, apparently I was a top student in her class and she would always pick me to judge my classmates work. I wanted to kill myself. I was a senior in high school, and I had to retake my 10th grade English class in order to graduate. I had a rocky start my freshman and sophomore year. I kicked my butt into gear for my junior and senior year once I realized how important it was. The sophomore teacher was atrocious. She clearly hated teaching and kids. If you were confused, and raised your hand to ask a question on what she was teaching that day, she would yell at you to put your hand down. If you waited until after class, she would yell at you to get out. I was so confused at the stature of this woman. I couldn't even fathom at how she became a teacher in the first place. I desperately needed this class in order to graduate, but my final straw came when we had to do a book report on the importance of poetry. I received my book report back after a couple of days, to which she graded it as an F. I spoke to her after class about it, and she said that I was in a 10th grade class and I needed to write like a 10 grader. She literally gave me an F because the paper was too well written. I took my paper down to the guidance counselor, explained what happened and demanded that I be transferred to a different 10 grade English classroom, and that I wanted her reported. Sorry for such a long rant, but to this day it still infuriates me why someone would choose to be a teacher, and yet not care about their students in any way. We once had a chemistry teacher who always had to tell a black student to stop talking in class. At one point, she got so pee, she slammed her textbook on the girl's desk, looked her in the eye, and screamed, You are as disobedient as your color. She was promptly fired. That doesn't even make sense. My math teacher said okay after every two seconds. Someone in my class did a tally of how many times she said okay. It was over 224 in one class. Was in 8th grade in middle school. I had just passed a test permitting me to skip up to a 9th grade level math class. This required me to move from 6th period math to 5th period math. Thus switching from 5th period science to 6th period science. Went to tell my science teacher and she freaked out and yelled in my face. You can't do that because they didn't talk to him he went straight to the counselor. He approved of the move. My dad had a nice talk with her. Details regarding your dad's conversation with her. First year stats class. I had a prof who was in his last year before retirement and extremely senile. When it came to his lectures, he spent the majority of them talking about fish and fishing, not statistics. Then on his exams. He made the answer key, where all of the correct answers were colored red, and proceeded to print it out as the exam on a black and white printer. Obviously you could see which answers were correct, without doing the work, and as a result everyone in the class ended up with 100%. Sounds awesome no, it was scaled so we all got a B, and learned absolutely nothing. TL, DR, statistics prof likes fish, and gives away all the answers. Everyone got scaled to a B. Jokes on you, you learned something about statistics from that bee. The professor is sitting in a boat right now, fishing of course, chuckling to himself about the whole senile prank he pulled on his statistics class. 
In high school my favorite teacher, grade 9 biology fell and was forced to miss the rest of the year. So we had a substitute for 3 stroke 4 of the school year. Now this lady knew absolutely nothing about teaching or biology. She also had a thick accent so it was impossible to understand what she was saying most of the time. The class was out of control. Like a freaking zoo. I remember one class some guys in the back broke open a bunch of glow sticks and threw them at the front of the class spewing neon liquids everywhere. As for me, she hated me. I have no idea why. I wasn't the best student. I didn't really care about the class or subject. But she just despised me. Would always call me out for things I wasn't doing and kick me out of class for whispering to my friend next to me. All the while the maniacs in the back are setting fires in the desk. It was insane. During a test one day my pencil became dull and I started fishing in my school bag for my sharpener. She sees my hand rustling around at the bottom of my bag and promptly stands up to walk towards me. This beast wipes the test off of my desk and writes a giant zero on the paper. I exclaim but she shuts me up and tells me that I was caught cheating. The students around me all interject telling her that I wasn't cheating. But I had it with this freaking dumbass teacher so I gave her the finger and walked out of the class. I just couldn't handle another class with her. So I stopped going. I told the principal what happened and explained that until I was able to retake the test I wouldn't be going to the class. My parents got involved and it was a whole freaking brouhaha that was caused by my entitled piece of crap teacher. Eventually there was a meeting between the principal, vice principal, my mother, father, and I. The teacher didn't say crap. She just sat there with her mouth closed glaring at me hoping the principal would back her up. She didn't. I ray took the test. Can't remember what I got. I probably failed. Frickler though. You know what you got. Justice. Sweet sweet petty justice. Arguably the best kind. Her. The crusades happened in the 5th 6th century BC. Me. BC stands for before Christ. Her. Yes. Me. The crusaders were Christian. Her. Yeah. 5th 6th century BC. I just stopped arguing because it was useless. I'd love to see this continue. The B in BC stands for before. Before Christ. There weren't any followers of his to be called Christians. Things that happened before somebody lived can't be named for that person. Before is different from after. Time only moves in one direction. One time. For a linguistic exercise we counted the letters in the preamble to the constitution. Like, there are 20 A's, 10 B's, etc. Horrible. Horrible. Edit. Nope. No programming. 7th grade social studies. I had this exact assignment. Except for mine I had to write a program and see that would do it for me. There's always my math professor who would say it's not my job to teach you. It's your job to teach yourselves. He'd constantly complain about the textbook he had us buy, that he chose to use. It was absolutely a terrible textbook, but it was far better than his lectures which consisted of him going on about bug procreation, the Golden Gate Bridge, and starfish migration patterns in the Atlantic. He'd get angry whenever anyone asked him a question, and I don't think throughout the entire math class he went through a single full problem. Had a college prof whose textbook consisted of a binder filled with powerpoints, photocopies of two old textbooks, and other random crap I was doing a homework assignment one night. One question told me to refer to a chart on page X of the book. The book ends 20 pages before page X. It also references page Y, which turned out to be a powerpoint that had nothing to do with the assignment. I emailed that prof that night. This was a Thursday, assignment was due Monday, asking where the chart was and explaining that the directions were wrong. An hour before class on Monday, no response, so I do the best I can from my notes and turn it in. Three hours after the class is over, I get a reply email from professor, he calls me an idiot, saying I should have known it anyway, and also saying that he knew the assignment referenced pages X and Y, ended up getting those questions wrong along with a good majority of the class. I had a lot of teachers in high school who would use these scrapbook style textbooks. I hated it. They always referenced something that didn't make it into the final cut, often had conflicting information on different sources, wonky formatting, some shrunk text to make it fit on the page that could never be read. I had an AP chemistry teacher, who was teaching that level of course for the first time. 
He was horrible. He had the other AP chemistry teacher even come in and teach us a few lessons he couldn't explain properly. He would take off points on my exams because I did the mathematics in a different way than him. So he said he couldn't be sure I wasn't cheating. Since all my answers were correct. Because he didn't understand my work. I eventually just started mailing it in for the rest of the year when I had gotten accepted and enrolled in undergraduate. He one day said to me, you are going to fail out of college after your first semester. April of my senior year of college I sent him a copy of the letter I had received from a law school that offered my a full scholarship. And he said to himself good thing I was brutally honest with him. It must have motivated him to succeed. And then he patted himself on the back and had a good day. I had a math professor straight out of somewhere over the oceans in Russia's general area, taught in US. Nobody could understand a word she said, so on the first day the whole class laughed hysterically. Homework was optional, you could use your calculators on your phones during tests, got mad at you for asking questions, and the best part is that she had to pass the majority of the class in order for her to keep her job. I crap you not. I got answers wrong on tests but she marked them right because I did a portion of the work correctly. So I don't know if this is the worst teacher or the best teacher. Perception is key. How I miss EIU. TLDR. Teacher that hated me tried to play football with us at recess. I made him look like a fool on the football field and took an excessive celebration push to the ground from him that I hung over his head all year. Mr. N from elementary school. I was a hyper kid. I'll give him that, but he was a dong. He was about 28 and a brand new teacher. He was super nice to all the girls and unbought to the guys. I was his most hated kid by far though. Grade 7. He made me put my desk in the cloak room. I was only allowed to move my desk when he wrote stuff on the blackboard and he'd give me detention for just about anything and everything. That man cost me watching more GI Joe cartoons than anyone else in my life. And GI Joe used to be good back then. One day at recess he decided to play touch football with us. I caught a pass in the open field, and only had one man between myself and end zone. Mr. N. There was no way in the world he was going to let me beat him and thought I was an easy tag. Well, I put the move of a grade 7's life on him, and actually caused him to stumble. I took off running down the sideline, but he caught up to me again pretty quick. So I hit the brakes and he flew right by but was again between me and the goal line. I went inside outside on him right on the line and took it to the house. Touchdown. In your face mister. N. I was dancing around and my team went crazy. They all ran down while I was doing the icky shuffle or something in front of mister. N. Taunting him as he was trying to walk back to his team. He was soupy and I wasn't dropping it, so he shoved me to the ground and said, Frick off. My entire team just stopped running and stood there, open jawed, or some 10 witnesses. I held that over his head all year. I got to move my desk out of the cloakroom even. Nothing like a little physical abuse and swearing at a 12 year old to even the odds and put them back into my favor. I didn't get attention again either. Edit for getting grades and ages mixed. This guy put the TL, DR, at the beginning of his comment. Give the man an upvote dammit. In elementary school, before religion was removed from the curriculum, I had a teacher who repeatedly gave me detention every time I asked a stupid biblical question during religion class. My parents are atheist Chinese immigrants. I had no idea who Moses was, how it was possible for him to part the Red Sea, or how Jesus was able to turn water in wine and resurrect himself. She looked at me as if I were the Antichrist. Eventually religion was removed from the curriculum and ethics made much more sense to my 10 year old mind. I had a history professor my first year of college who could come to class late every day and show us movies every class. I learned absolutely nothing and when he did actually lecture, he made no attempt to hide his political biases. For the grand finale, our final for the class was a 15 page paper due to him by email. About 2 weeks before grades were due to the university, I didn't do the paper. Purposefully, I sent him a blank word document. This professor emails me literally 2 hours before grades were due those 2 weeks after I submitted it telling me he's having trouble reading the paper. Clearly this guy didn't even plan on spending time reading or grading our work, so I didn't respond. Got to be in the class, with that final paper being one of 2 assignments we'd had during the entire semester. TL. DR. Didn't do the final. 
got a B anyway. I had a teacher who occasionally got mad and threw shoes at us. I had a theater teacher who routinely threw desks. I had a biology teacher in high school who was bad crap crazy. She was sex obsessed and talked about it constantly. Mind you, this was a private Christian school, so most of the girls in this freshman class were pretty scarred. One example of her bad crap craziness was the day we were dissecting a frog. My partner was out sick like she always was on the days of dissections. So my teacher decided to be my partner. We begin cutting open the frog, but she was too caught up on finding its genitals to move on. Everyone in class was taking pictures, jotting down their notes, making sketches, while I was stuck watching this teacher obsessively try to find the frog's private hole. Well, she found what she was looking for and stuck the end of the scissors in the frog, then proceeds to scissor frick the frog while I'm staring in disbelief. Everyone else was finishing up and we had hardly started. Then she says, I've always wondered what it'd feel like to break a frog's back. She grabs the frog's head in one hand, back end in the other, with the open torso facing me across the table, and snap the frog's back. A stream of dead frog juice squirts directly into my eye. She just says, oh, you should probably go clean that out in the bathroom. By the time I was done flushing my eye, everyone had already gone to lunch. Mrs. Bat crap crazy made me finish the dissection by myself because she was eating her lunch at her desk. I barely made the end of lunch and was too pee and grossed out to eat. Talked to the principal about her. Found out there had already been dozens of complaints against her. She didn't work there again the following year. Oh. One time. She came to school with one crowded too few for the dissection because she left them out on the table last night and the cat got to one. She was also a hoarder and apparently lost most of our homework and her school computer in her living room. Thinking about her makes my skin crawl. I had a teacher who yelled at us for humming during a test. It was in fact she who was humming. My history teacher was an idiot. And I mean, an idiot. She took 10 points off a 5 point question. Why are there so many salt plains in West Africa? Because, in her words, a very smart student like you should be more specific. It's not West Africa, not just West Africa. What the frick? Edit, I didn't re-read before posting. My apologies for the rampant typos. Despised my 12th grade English teacher because she was one of the worst speakers of English I'd ever encountered. She would routinely read aloud to the class. These are high school seniors, and Ms. Collins would read aloud to them at least twice a week for the entire class. We all bristled, but I was probably most annoyed at having to sit through it. So, she's reading a book about some village in Africa. A children's book really. Folks in the little village didn't have enough to eat, Ms. Collins didn't slow down one bit after pronouncing the word underfed underfed, two syllables, meaning these people did not have the required amount of derf. My hand was up pretty fast, Ms. Collins. Maybe we should do something for these people. Maybe we should take up a collection of derf. At least there was no reading allowed in the principal's office. I had a geography teacher who was Hawaiian. I live in Hawaii, and we learned nothing about geography only Hawaiian culture. Before we could enter the class we would have to do a Hawaiian chant. This was every day we had this class. When it was my turn to chant I pronounced all the words correctly but she said I had a mainland accent. I'm originally from California, so I couldn't do the chat right. She made me read the chant 7 times and I was the only one who couldn't do it. Everyone laughed at me and I cried at the door. That was the only class I ever got a F in. In college my friend took Chinese to get an easy A since she grew up in Taiwan and spoke fluent Chinese in two different dialects. Teacher was from mainland China near Beijing. They have a very different accent. The teacher gave her a D because she didn't speak with a Beijing accent. Not a terrible teacher, but our class conditioned our math teacher, differential equations, to teach on the left side of the room. When he would walk to use the right side of the whiteboard, the entire class would look uninterested and bored. Eventually we trained him to use only one side. He finally caught on at the end of the semester when he walked to the right side of the board to get a marker and saw everyone change their posture. Though most of the teachers I have had in my past have been great there was Ms. F my high school chemistry teacher. The first day of high school chemistry the teacher usually explains the curriculum and standards of their classroom etc. 
The teacher started off her class with this sentence. I am not a teacher. I am a facilitator. From that point on I knew it was going to be a rough year. She never helped students after class or during lunch with anything. She was a sour divorced woman who hated all men because of this. Halfway through the year a female student who was usually in trouble took it upon herself to take the foil wrapper from a stick of gum and shape it as if it were a plug being inserted into an outlet. The teacher hadn't noticed her fiddling with it all class but the class did. Needless to say she inserted it into the outlet and it made a loud pop and lights flickered. The teacher saw it in the outlet because all of the kids were staring right at it and because I sat next to this chick she came up to my desk assumed it was me. Took my books off my desk through T hem across the room and demanded me to go to the house principal. Anytime I tried to explain my side of the story she'd just talk over and me and ignore me. I left and had explained the scenario to the principal and she asked the class what truly happened I was in the clear. From that point on I couldn't even sneeze in her class without her giving me BTIs or yelling at me. I was happy to find out she passed away when I was in college. Frick that be. Alright it's about time I share my story. Last year I had an engineering professor who was just the worst teacher ever. He taught him mechanics of materials and from day one I knew he was simply not good at teaching the subject. He was very monotone and really just could not explain things well at all. Well fast forward about a month through the course when we had our first midterm. Everyone in the 300 person lecture was pretty afraid because we all had no idea what to expect. Well the teacher comes running in all sweaty about 8 minutes after the class was supposed to begin. You could tell he just printed out all the tests. He was one of those teachers who was all paranoid about students cheating so he printed out 3 different versions of the test. The teacher then proceeded to pass out the test. He didn't just pass them all out by giving each row a stack of tests, but instead went to each student personally, gave one a test, then went to the next student stumbled around his papers and gave the next student a different test. I crap you not. He did this for every person in the 300 person lecture. Well I was sitting in the back of the class, so I didn't get my test until around 15 minutes after the first person in the class. After getting the test test I realize it's fucking impossible. Every question was just ridiculously difficult and everything was shitterly hand drawn which made things even more difficult. By this point I am just looking around at everyone else in the class and people look pee off. I also noticed people are constantly going up to him and asking questions about the test. About 15 minutes after everyone has been working on the test, he makes his first announcement. Okay everyone so the dimensions on the first question is incorrect. It's supposed to be blah and not blah. At this point everyone is just like a okay, frick this but we still keep working cause there is nothing else we could do. 10 minutes later he makes another announcement about how there was something incorrectly written on the test. I'm just so p at this point I didn't even care about how I was going to do on the test cause I knew everyone else would probably fail with me. People also just keep flooding him with questions and now the teacher just looks like he is about to shoot himself in front of the entire class. Then, 45 minutes into taking the test he makes his final announcement yeah so this test isn't really working how I planned so I am cancelling it and we will have a retake next week. And that was the start of a great semester not learning mechanics of materials. TL. DR. Had professor who couldn't do anything right. Here's my experience with two separate professors at the university I'm currently attending. One of them, an art history prof from freshman year, was easily the most obese person I've ever seen. Ever. That's not the bad part. Obviously he can choose to live his life however he wants, but it made him slow and inactive. The entire class would be spent in the dark, with him not moving from his seat, going through slides of art. He would get really upset with us when we didn't know the answer to his poorly worded questions. But the worst of it was that, because he was so heavy, he would get winded from talking. Every few words was broken up by this drawn out hissing inhale. And this piece is, hiss, from the, renaissance era. Hiss and it would take him forever to get through a sentence. Needless to say, I slept through most of the class. Happy ending. All our tests were take home. Another teacher, who taught motion graphics. Had us do sar animations. I did mine pro drug use and took the opportunity to make it about the show Breaking Bad. It was all about how people should smoke him to save Walter White. Yada yada. After I was done, he asked me if I'd ever smoked him. I told him no, and he said good, don't. It feels like taking a brick to the face. 
Like smoking a permanent marker. Huh. You don't say. The worst teacher I ever had was when I was in grade 2. She whacked my knuckles with a ruler because I was left handed. She insisted I absolutely could not write left handed. If I handed in anything that was written anything left handed I would get a zero. The very first parent teacher meeting we had that year my teacher took my parents and very seriously told them that I needed to be sent all the way back to kindergarten to have my entire educational process started over from scratch because the teachers before her made the mistake of allowing me to learn left handed. My parents just waited for her to stop talking. Then they said you're freaking crazy person. This is bulls. He's left handed. He is going to stay that way. And you have a problem with it with pulling him out of the school. The teacher pleaded with my parents saying they were making a terrible mistake. If I grew up left handed I was going to grow up to be a screwed up psycho. My parents stood their ground. Kicked that crazy bee to the curb and transferred me not to another school but to another class. Now I'm glad to say I'm a proud serial killer with a deep freezer full of human parts. And I'm earning my doctrine and the church of Satan. No wait. I'm an administrator in a hospital and teach a class at a local college in computer language skills. Left handed. Which do you think is true? Kinda long but here we go. I had this philosophy professor who came to clear 40 minutes late to a 1 hour 15 minute class. The only reason I stayed because I had a math class immediately after and had nothing better to do. Anyway he shows up and is apologizing to the four of us who actually stayed. Next class I walk in and he is playing the guitar for roughly 10 minutes after class should have after class should have started. He then sets the guitar down and goes on this long rant on how he cannot believe everyone had left when he was only 15 minutes late. And how come after 5 minutes no one came to his office to remind him we had class. After 5 minutes of ranting some girl raises her hand and says, So you want us to tell you how to do your job? If I showed up 40 minutes late to work I'd be fired he then responds, You're a moron and have a crappy job. This roughly goes on for 20 minutes and then another student raises his hand and says can we just get to the lecture he promptly responds you're an idiot. Do you not realize this is my class and this is part of the lecture. By the time he finished his rant there was 10 minutes left in class and let us all go. The even odder thing was the next lecture he acted like nothing happened. I won't go into details, but my 10th grade English teacher ensured I would fail her class. Once I put two and two together I went up to her and said you may fail me, but I'll just take summer school, get an easy A and move on with you being nothing but a minor inconvenience in my life. First time in my life a teacher kicked me out of class. Life proceeded as I predicted and four years later my best friend's little sister amusingly left a note on the last day of class which read, my name, says frick you written in glittery pink with hearts and smiley faces. I didn't expect her to actually do it when I made the suggestion. My 4th grade elementary school teacher was by far the worst to me. I don't know what I did to this woman to make her hate me but she ruined a perfectly good vacation. My parents were planning on taking my sister and I to Hawaii for 2 weeks. So, of course, I go to her and get the materials that we would cover while I was gone and she gives me some papers and problems reading in the textbook. Just normal elementary school vacation procedure. My parents had a work now party later mentality so they made me get to work on my homework almost as soon as we touched down so I could get it out of the way. Turns out, she gave me a lot of work to do. Even my parents were like WTF but they're not the type to complain to the teacher and rather just make me do the work. I had to set aside like 4 hours every day to do my homework, which is a lot of time for a 4th grader in Hawaii. I was even still working on it on the plane ride home. Then when I go back into class I had a huge sense of pride because I had done all of the work this demon teacher had given me. I had beaten her, however. She pulled some crap I won't forget. Turns out, she gave me too much work, so I ended up being ahead of the rest of the class. Rather than just let me sit there and refresh myself with her lessons, she assigned me more work which was basically just more difficult questions because I already knew the basics. God, I hated her so much. Ended up getting an A in her class so she can suck it. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.